Let's talk about the latest updates on the Tesla Model Y going into 2023. This vehicle has quickly become the most popular in the Tesla lineup, the best-selling EV in the United States, the top-selling passenger car in China, and is on track to become the highest-selling automobile by volume in the entire world, and that can happen as early as next year. The Model Y has also been kind of like a testing platform for Tesla's cutting-edge EV technology. With new die-casted frame sections, upgraded battery cells, and a new structural battery pack design. Going into 2022, we had expected to see a major change in the way that the Model Y was built. That didn't really happen. It kinda happened, but not the way that we were expecting. And now, it doesn't seem to be happening at all. For now, at least. We'll get into that a bit later. But battery technology aside, we do know about a bunch of new features that are coming soon to the Model Y. Some other features that are set to be removed, new option packages coming available, and a ramp up in production that is already starting to cut down on wait times across the board. So, let's get going. So, in the spring of this year, Tesla started rolling out their first Model Y vehicles from the brand new Gigafactory in Austin, Texas. These were the first production vehicles equipped with the new 4680 battery cell and structural battery pack, dual motor all-wheel drive with both front and rear Gigacasting frame sections. It was by far the most advanced consumer grade electric vehicle in the world. Yet, somehow, those first Model Ys came with bafflingly mediocre specs and performance. Much less range than the existing dual motor Y, and slightly slower acceleration. For what was, apparently, a moderately reduced price tag. Not that anyone could actually order or purchase one. But some people did receive some of those cars, and they are apparently really nice. And then Tesla decided to retool the factory and go back to producing the Model Y in the usual way. The same car that comes out of the Fremont plant, but with the added benefits of a state-of-the-art production line at Giga Texas. We've seen that Tesla is still receiving the new 4680 battery cell structural packs at Giga Texas, but they seem to be just stockpiling them in storage and not putting them into vehicles at the moment. So it's reasonable to assume that any and all Model Ys delivered in America for the foreseeable future will come with the regular 2170 cell skateboard battery pack, which is an awesome battery that anyone should be stoked to have in their new car. We're definitely starting to see the benefits of that Texas production ramp up in the Model Y delivery times. Now that things are sorted out and they've put the 4680s on the shelf, Giga Texas is starting to do what it's supposed to do, which is increase Model Y availability and reduce wait times. You can't even order a long-range Model 3 in America right now. They are so over capacity at the Fremont plant. So that is a pretty clear illustration of the difference that Giga Texas is making for the Model Y. For customers in America, you can get a Model Y performance as early as this month or at least by sometime in October. That is the shortest lead time we've seen in a very long while. And even for the massively popular Model Y long range, the best case scenario is this December and worst case April 2023, which is again a vast improvement because there were points this year when the delivery time had stretched into the summer of 2023. And with the long range, it doesn't seem to matter which options you choose, you still get the same delivery date. This is another improvement. Typically, you would be able to get a faster delivery date by equipping the upgraded wheels, or opting for a more expensive paint choice. But for now at least, that is not going to be a factor. What you will definitely notice on the Model Y order page is that all of the prices have gone up. The cost of a Model Y long range is at 66,000 US dollars or 70 grand for a performance model. 
The cost of the full self-driving option has also jumped in price recently, going from 12,000 US to now 15 grand, a 25% increase. And if you think that's bad, try ordering the same feature in Canada, where the price was adjusted from 12,800 to $20,000 for FSD, a 50% increase. Plus, they jacked up the price of enhanced autopilot here from 6400 to 7800 Now, Tesla did not choose to increase the US price for enhanced autopilot yet, at least. If it can happen to us, it can happen to you. And it may look like Canadians are getting fleeced there, but if you look at the prices relative to the American dollar, which is about 30% more valuable than the Canadian dollar, we were actually getting the features at a much cheaper relative price before, and now the dollar values are basically even between the two countries. If you enjoy learning about new topics and ideas, but struggle to get through long nonfiction books, then our sponsor Blinkist is perfect for you. The Blinkist app enables you to understand the most important things from over 5,500 nonfiction books and podcasts in just 15 minutes. This allows me to learn more in a much shorter period of time. And speaking of time, James Wallman wrote Time and How to Spend It, which is one of many options on Blinkist about how to work more efficiently. Time is one of the most valuable resources you have because it's limited and shrinking by the second. So why not use science to ensure you make the most of it? You can learn a lot in a short amount of time with Blinkist. It's one of my favorite apps and provides exceptional value. I would highly recommend trying it out today. And right now, Blinkist has a special offer just for our audience. Click the link in my description to start your free seven day trial with Blinkist and get 25% off of a premium membership. And at no additional cost to you, Blinkist has a new feature, Blinkist Connect, which allows you to share your subscription for as long as you're sharing it with them. So you're really getting a two for one deal to share with your best friend or family. Anyway, we do know that there are more features to come for the Tesla Model Y over the next few months. Of course, the unique and sometimes frustrating thing about Tesla is that they do not use model years for their vehicle. They don't refresh the car once a year like a traditional automaker. Tesla just rolls out a new feature as soon as it's ready to go. Sometimes there will be a bunch of features changed at once. Other times it's just a single minor change. But you never really know about it until after it happens. So here are some things that might arrive in the Model Y at some point. There's a new report about a powered front trunk or frunk coming to the Model Y. The website Not A Tesla App recently found a new update that shows a closing animation for the frunk in the latest Tesla software update. This would suggest that a power operated frunk is on the way. This is a much needed update for the Model Y and every other Tesla as well, because all of the latest EVs from GM, Ford, Rivian, and Lucid are now coming with automated frunks that open and close remotely. This is kind of like how the Model 3 didn't have a power operated rear trunk for the longest time and then they finally added it in 2020. Not only would that be more convenient, but if you've ever actually used a front trunk on a Tesla, you know how finicky they can be. You just can't slam it closed, you have to press it down with a very specific way and do it very gently. The Model S is the worst, you can really damage the cover if you don't close it properly. So. It would be great to not have to deal with that. Also coming soon to the Model Y will be Steam integration for in-car gaming. This one I am personally very excited for. Elon confirmed on September 13th that he is currently testing Steam integration in Palo Alto, California. This would open up a massive catalog of video games that can be played using the center screen of a Tesla. So far, we've only had access to specific games that have been ported for Tesla, and they're pretty good, but very limited. Of course, to actually play a AAA video game in your car, you'll need the latest AMD Ryzen processor equipped. These first rolled out with the refreshed Model S and Model X in 2021, giving the in-car system the equivalent gaming performance to a PlayStation 5. Luckily, that Ryzen chip has just recently trickled down to the Model 3 and Model Y, 
so any car you order today will be fully Steam capable. If you take delivery of a Model Y in 2023, you might be surprised with some of the features that will not be included. Control stocks on the steering column for turn signals and gear shifting will be removed from the Model Y at some point in the future. Reliable sources have confirmed that both the Model 3 and Model Y will be converted to touch control buttons on the steering wheel, similar to the new Model S and Model X. But as far as we know, the steering yoke will not be included, so a round steering wheel is sticking around on the Model Y. But you will have to activate turn signals, windshield wipers, and headlights from capacitive touch buttons on the wheel, and you will have to shift the car between drive, neutral, and reverse on the center touch screen. Automatic gear selection will likely be coming along with this feature change, but it's not always going to make the right choice. So. That's not a big deal really, especially if you're already a Tesla driver and you're accustomed to the minimalist control layout, but for anyone coming over to a Tesla Model Y or Model 3 from a conventional vehicle, this is going to be a very major adaptation. You may have noticed that North America is now one of the only regions in the world where a standard range rear wheel drive Model Y is not available for purchase. So what's the deal with that? This is a variation of the Model Y that is made at Tesla's Gigafactory in Shanghai, China. It uses a lower capacity battery chemistry called LFP, which is much cheaper and easier to produce because it uses iron as the cathode metal instead of nickel and cobalt. The battery is paired with a single electric motor on the rear axle. These rear wheel drive Ys have been available in Asia since 2021 and recently started being offered in Europe as well. They are significantly cheaper than the long range model, usually by around 20% or more, depending on where you purchase one. They are still reasonably fast with a 6.6 .6 second zero to 60 time, and there are currently only WLTP range estimates, but they would likely have around 270 miles of EPA certified range. What's unfortunate is that we have the standard range rear wheel drive model three available in North America. It comes with that same Chinese made LFP battery pack and a single motor, and they only cost 47,000 US dollars with a delivery estimate of between October and December. And that is a great car, but Model Y has the benefits of extra size, increased cargo volume, hatchback, and taller ride height. So it would be really nice to have that much cheaper option available for the Y here as well. And it is very likely that we will get a rear wheel drive Y and it will probably happen in 2023. It seems to be just a matter of getting production ramped up at Giga Texas first, maybe figuring out what they are going to do about the 4680 and getting things stabilized for the existing product lineup. Whenever that happens, which again I think will be soon, then we get another Model Y option available with that lower price point and that's when this vehicle is really going to take off like a rocket. At around 50 grand or so, this will easily push the Y into the top spot for best selling car in the world. We are going to be seeing an absolute ton of these things on the road in the next few years. Where are you at in your Tesla buying experience? Do you have a Model Y on order right now? Or are you holding out for a certain feature to come along? Or do you already have one? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. That is so important for getting our content out to more people. If you enjoy the content, then you'd probably also enjoy our weekly newsletter. So sign up with the link down below at theteslaspace.com. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who are listed on the screen now. You help us make the best content we can, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.